The CIRIC 4.0 user interface is uncluttered with a simple layout. On the top of the screen, we see the phase bar. This shows the individual phases in the dental CAD-CAM workflow in chronological order from left to right. Towards the lower margin of the screen, the step menu is located, providing options and tasks for each phase. On this start screen, we have the possibility to enter a new patient, select an existing patient, or display all patients. In this case, we search for a patient's name, click on it, view this patient's restorations, and open one of them. The next phase is administration. Here, restorations and restoration types are defined. CIRIC 4.0 permits multiple restorations per case. Following on from the administration phase is acquisition. Images are captured here with the intraoral camera. At the bottom of the screen are various imaging catalogs, such as lower jaw, upper jaw, and buccal bite registration. Depending on the type of design selected, other catalogs could appear. For example, the pre-op situation. The next phase is model. On the dock bar at the bottom of the screen, the active teeth are shown, and for each tooth, the appropriate and logical step menu. In the design phase, the restoration proposals are created and can be further modified. At the right-hand edge of the screen is the side panel with which we can change different visualization options, such as the transparency of restorations. Changes to the design are made using the tool wheel, which we will address separately. Following design comes the mill phase. In mill, we can also use the tool wheel to change the position of the restoration in the block, such as to influence coloring or the position of the sprue. Once all the various restoration steps have been completed, milling can be started.